Yo, 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 Hi, I'm Vinayopal and I'm back with season 2. This is the third episode of the Rare series and in this episode I'm going to show you an unbelievable shortcut in solving SATM questions where pulleys and springs are involved, where multiple pulleys, multiple springs and the question looks very complicated. But this short method is going to make those questions look like the easiest questions in the world. Let's have a look. So suppose I take a simple example. I have, let's say, a spring connected to a pulley. Let's say I have another spring here. And I have a block. And let's say K1 and K2 are the spring constants. So we are dealing with ideal springs, which means massless springs and ideal pulley. Uh, that means frictionless and massless both. Now I want to find the time period of this block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find uh, an equivalent spring constant for this entire system. And then I'm going to simply write the time period as 2 pi root m by k equivalent. So let's say how let's see how to calculate k equivalent. So assign tension t on the block, the tension in the left spring will also be t and tension in the upper spring would be 2t. So the formula goes as this 1 by k equivalent is summation of coefficient of the tension t squared divided by the k, the k value for that particular spring and then you just sum it up over all springs. So in this case, you will have 1 by k equivalent would be, uh, you can see k2 k tension is t, so its coefficient is 1. So I'll have 1 squared by k2 plus what is the coefficient of the tension in spring, uh, in the upper spring, that is 2t. So the coefficient is 2. So you'll have 2 squared by k1. And you simply get your k equivalent and substitute it here to get your time period. It is that simple. It doesn't matter how many pulleys you have, it doesn't matter how many springs you have, just apply this formula. I'll show you a couple of more examples so that you guys can get comfortable with this method. Uh, what is the proof of this method? I've just given you the formula, uh, but I haven't told you the proof. Um, the proof is not that difficult, to be honest. So I'm going to uh, leave it up to you guys to try and See if you guys can uh, prove this formula or, or derive this formula. I'll just give you a couple of starting steps or uh, uh, hints. This formula is derived from uh, basically just constraint equation. Just write out the extensions in each spring, uh, try and relate the extensions through the relation of their tensions. And I think you will not find it too difficult to get this formula. Okay, uh, let's have a look at another example. So let's make it a little more complex by adding more springs. So let's say I have one pulley here. Mm. Let's say I have another pulley here. Let me add a spring here, then a block. Or rather, let's let's take it another level. Let me replace the string by a uh, spring. So let's say spring constant is k, 2k. 3k and 4k. All right. So, like I said, make sure, and this is the key point, ensure that the tension t, the variable t, is on the block, not anywhere else. So, tension t should be on the block. So, now let's write the tension in each of the other springs. I'll have uh, tension 3k would be t by 2, correct? And since uh, 3k is directly connected to k, the tension there will also be t by 2 and in 2k the tension will be t. Alright, so I'll have 1 by k equivalent as, so let me just go in the order of k, 2k, 3k, 4k. So the coefficient of k is 1 by 2 for tension t is 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 the whole squared divided by k plus the coefficient of uh, for 2k uh, for tension t is uh, simply 1. So I'll have 1 squared by 2k. For 3k, the tension is t by 2, so the coefficient is again 1 by 2 divided by 3k plus for 4k, the tension is t, so the coefficient is 1, so it will be 1 square by 4k. And just solve it, I am not going to solve it for you, 
and you guys can do that just get the value for k equivalent and time period would simply be m 2 pi root m by k equivalent so it's that simple hope you guys have understood i think now you guys can try it out uh, let let me just give you another example and you guys can try this out and post your answer uh, in the comment section so find out k equivalent that should be good enough in terms of k that should be good enough and uh, post your answer in the comment section i'll have a look i think most of you all of you should be able to get the correct answer so hope you guys have understood how to solve these questions uh, just one important point i'm going to re repeat it again make sure that the tension t the variable t is on the block not anywhere else and then you can simply write tensions everywhere else and uh, just use this formula that's it for today see you guys good night